United Kingdom military aircraft serials refers to the serial numbers used to identify individual military aircraft in the United Kingdom. All UK military aircraft are allocated and display a unique serial number. A unified serial number system, maintained by the Air Ministry, and its successor the Ministry of Defence is used for aircraft operated by the Royal Air Force, Fleet Air Arm and Army Air Corps, military aircraft operated by government agencies and civilian contractors are also assigned serials from this system. When the Royal Flying Corps was formed in 1912 aircraft were identified by a letter, number system related to the manufacturer. The prefix A uh, was allocated to balloons of number 1 Company, Air Battalion, Royal Engineers, the prefix B to aeroplanes of number 2 Company, and the prefix F to aeroplanes of the Central Flying School. The naval wing used the prefix H for seaplanes, M for monoplanes, and T for aeroplanes with engines mounted in tractor configuration. Before the end of the first year a unified serial number system was introduced for both Army and Naval aircraft. The serials are allocated when the contract is placed with the manufacturer or supplier. In an RAF or FAA pilot's personal service logbook, the serial number of any aircraft flown, along with any other particulars, such as aircraft type, flight time, purpose of flight, etc., is entered by the pilot after every flight thus giving a complete record of the pilot's flying activities and which individual aircraft have been flown, 1 to 10,000. This first series ran from 1 to 10,000 with blocks allocated to each service. The first serial was allocated to a short S-34 for the Royal Naval Air Service with the number 10,000 going to a Blackburn-built BE-2C aircraft in 1916, A1-Z9999. By 1916 the first sequence had reached 10,000 and it was decided to start an alphanumeric system from A1 to A9999 then starting again at B1. The letters A, B, C, D, E, F, H, and J were allocated to the Royal Flying Corps and N1 to N9999 and S1 to S9999 to the Royal Naval Air Service. When the sequence reached the prefix K it was decided to start at K1000 for all subsequent letters instead of K1. Although the N and S series had earlier been used by RNAS aircraft, the sequence N1000 to N9999 was again used by the Air Ministry for both RAF and RN aircraft. The naval S sequence had reached only S1865, a fairy IIIF, but when R9999 was reached in 1939, the next serial allocations did not run on from that point, but instead commenced at T-1000. From 1937 not all aircraft serials were allocated, in order to hide the true number of aircraft in production and service. Gaps in the serial number sequence were sometimes referred to as blackout blocks. The first example of this practice was an early 1937 order for 200 Avro Manchester bombers which were allotted the serials L7276-7325, L7373-7402, L7415-7434, L7453-7497, L75 15-7549 and L7565-7584, covering a range of 309 possible serial numbers, and thus possibly leading an enemy to overestimate British military aircraft strength, AA100 to ZZ999. By 1940 the serial Z9978 had been allocated to a Bristol Blenheim and it was decided to restart the sequence with a two-letter prefix, starting at AA100. This sequence is still in use today. Until the 1990s this two-letter, three-numeral serial number sequence had numbers in the range 100 to 999.
An exception to this rule was Douglas Skyrider AEW-1 which received the UK serial WT-097, which incorporated the last three digits of its US Navy Bureau number 124,097. Recently, past unassigned serials, including those having numerals 001-099, have been assigned. Some letters have not been used to avoid confusion. C confusion with G, I confusion with 1, O and Q confusion with 0, U confusion with V and Y confusion with X. During the Second World War RAF aircraft carrying secret equipment or that were in themselves secret had G suffix added to the end of the serial, the G signifying guard, denoting that the aircraft was to have an armed guard at all times while on the ground, for example, W4041 G. The prototype Gloucester E-28 39th jet powered by the Whittle engine, LZ-548 G, the prototype De Havilland Vampire Jet Fighter, or ML-926 G, a De Havilland Mosquito 16 experimentally fitted with H-2S radar. As of 2009, serial allocations have reached the ZKNNN range. However, in recent years, serials have increasingly been allocated out of sequence. For example, the first RAF C-17 Globemaster was given the serial ZZ-171 in 2001, and a batch of Britain Norman defenders for the AAAC were given serials in the ZGNNN range in 2003. Also, some recent serials allocations have had a numeric part in the previously unused 001 to 099 range. Maintenance Serials Distinct serial numbering systems are used to identify non-flying airframes used for ground training. The RAF have used a numeric sequence with an M suffix sometimes referred to as the maintenance series. Known allocations, made between 1921 and 2000, ranged from 540M to 9344M when this sequence was terminated. The main series of single-letter serials did not use M to avoid confusion with the suffix M. The fleet air arm using a prefixed sequence and the Army Air Corps issue tad numbers to their instructional airframes. Display. The serial numbers are normally carried in up to four places on each aircraft, on either side of the aircraft on a vertical surface and on the underside of each wing. The underwing serials, originally specified so that in case of unauthorized low-flying civilian personnel could report the offending aircraft to the local police have not been displayed since the 1960s, as by then jet speeds at low level had made the likelihood of a person on the ground being able to read, and thus report them, increasingly remote. The serial on each side is usually on the rear fuselage, but this can vary depending on the aircraft type. For instance, the Delta-winged Gloucester Javelin had the serial on the forward engine nacelle, and the Avro Vulcan had the serial on the fin. Helicopters have only carried serials on each side, either on the tail boom or rear fuselage.